Hey guys, so this is a DIY video for Lambo windows. Well, they're not Lambo windows per se, but they do swing up. They're an um, alternative to those ugly mesh covers that they have, that they sell. Uh, these are a little bit more sturdy. So these are the ones I'm talking about. They have straps everywhere. They flap around, they're loose. So this is supplies you need. You need a tube bender. You don't need these hinges because you're gonna be using the hose clamps. And you need the one fourth steel rod. It's six feet long. You need six of these to make all four windows. So this is how I do it. I duct tape it just to hold it in place and then I mark the places I want the bends to be. So it's not an exact science. I'm kind of eyeballing it. Can't really tell once the fabric's all around it. And here I'm gonna be bending one of the rods right at the mark. So it does take a bit of elbow grease to get a good bend in there. And you want to underestimate the bend in case you need to correct it. This one was too much, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'll show you later how to do that. And now we're just going to bend the other side as well. You just got to line it up and not to test the bends, make sure they're flush with each other. We just put it on the floor and it looks good. This one was over bent a little bit. So we're gonna fix that. And we still need to put some angles on this side. So to fix any overbending, you just use the vice grip and just push it out. And that's pretty much it. It looks much better there. And I already put a bend up there. And now we're just gonna put another bend on the bottom. I'm just gonna mark the general area where I want the bend. And now we're gonna see all the bends here, almost complete. So I did bend outwards a little bit. So I'm just gonna line it up. And you can see here it's coming along pretty nicely. So now we're going to do the bottom piece that I'm going to have to weld on later. So I'm just going to get a rough estimate of the size and then we're just going to cut that. Alright, so that should be it right there. And I'm just going to put a, or I put a bend right there and then we're going to put another one going inwards just so it can be flush and that overhang that's hanging down be pushed up with that extra length. So now we're just gonna tech weld everything together. And you can see this is a completed piece here. So now we're just gonna test mount it with the duct tape and see how it looks. Uh, so far, so good. We'll give it a test Lambo lift. And lifts pretty nice. So we're going to hold this with the hose clamps, they're adjustable, so you can remove them if you need to and just throw them in the back of your truck, so it comes in pretty handy. And we're going to put the bungees over here to hold once it's complete. So now time for the fabric. So I got the fabric from Jones Fabric, it's just some octagon mesh and I got some canopy fabric for the edges. I did get a crappy little Amazon sewing machine didn't work so I have to get a good one so I can sew through the thick fabric. Um, this machine was like 120 at Walmart. And here's the end result. You just need to cut the extra piece of fabric, the overhang, and this is how it looks. So now to mount it we're gonna have to punch holes on top so we can run the hose clamp through it. Uh, one thing to make sure of is sew around the hole so the thread or the fabric doesn't run later when the wind's blowing through it. And this is the finished product here. And the rear one's already magically complete as well. And here's the mounting points for my bungees. One's holding on to that grip bar there and the other one's holding on to the cage in the back. And for the back one, I have them facing outwards because I need to release them myself since there's a little guy sitting inside the vehicle and he can't release them. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concern, hate mail, uh, let me know. Thank you for watching.